Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the very first course uh, for the Excel 2010 class for beginners. And the course starts on February 4th, 2013 and it runs for eight weeks and each week we'll have several tutorials associated with it. Um, if you're signed up for the course, that's great. You'll be getting an email um, with updates and uh, also links to download the files. If for some reason you are signed up and you're not getting the emails, please email me at 10minutetrain at gmail.com. Again, that's 10minutetrain at gmail.com. And the 10 is the 10, not 10 spelled out. And I will make sure to uh, get you added to the list. If you're following along with the course, that's great. If not, and it's early in the course, feel free to go ahead and sign up. In order to sign up, and, and all materials, by the way, um, will be on this site. It's www.10minutetrain.com. Then you're going to go to the Excel tab right here. And the class information is on the far right side of the page. You'll notice over here, um, there's a Sign Up Now button. This will we'll leave this up for several weeks. And then, of course, you can listen to this in replays or, um, or sign up during the, um, as the course progresses. With that said, the course starts off very basic. The only assumption that we make is that um, you have Excel loaded on your Windows machine, your Windows PC, and we'll take it from there. So if you're already an intermediate user, you might want to join in on week you know, two or three or four, uh, depending on what you're trying to learn. With that said, I am going to cover from the bare bones basics to more intermediate topics. So um, to jump right in here, uh, today's first video will just cover um, starting Excel. Um, so it'll be very quick and, um, and, and very basic. I'm going to go ahead, like I said, the assumption is, is that you already have Excel loaded on your machine. On my machine, I'm on Windows 7 and so how that works, let me go ahead and minimize this window here. I'm going to go to the start button. Just drag this down. Start button down here on the bottom left. I'm going to click it. I'm going to go to all programs. I'm going to go to Microsoft Office and I'm going to go ahead and double click or just single click Excel. If you're on Windows Vista it should work very similar. Um, that's one way of doing it. Uh, you can open up any program like that. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And I'm going to drag this up. And you, I'm just going to click the, the top right X here. Or you can go under File and close out with that exit right there. Alright, so some other options that you have here are go to the Start menu. And you can just type Excel in the box here. Just type Excel hit return and it will start right up. I'm going to go ahead and go under file and I'm going to exit out of there again. Some other options or if you want to make a shortcut on your desktop is go to all programs Microsoft Office find Excel rather than clicking it with the left mouse button right click it and you can choose to send to that will automatically have a pop-up and you can say send to desktop and create a shortcut and you'll see what will happen here puts a shortcut right there. The other option that you can do is if you want to um, put it on your taskbar down here at the bottom you can go start programs or start all programs Microsoft Office and you can right click it and say pin to taskbar and now you notice what will happen it will automatically put it down here on your on your taskbar and you can just launch it from there. Likewise, if you want to remove something from your taskbar, you can right click it and say unpin this program from the taskbar. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that for the for the uh, demonstration. And I think, oh, one other quick note that I wanted to show, share with you is, let me go here. On this site here. This is on a Microsoft site. If you're using Windows Vista, which is pretty popular, um, the taskbar is going to be a little bit different. They call it the Quick Launch Toolbar, which will be down here on the um, in the menu. Let me scroll that down a little bit. 
um, in order to, it's not called the task bar, it's called the quick launch toolbar. It's very similar, you click the icon of the program you want to add and then you just um, drag it to the quick launch toolbar. All right, and if for some reason you don't see the quick launch toolbar on your on your um, desktop running Windows Vista, just go down to the toolbar here, right click, and go to toolbars, and you should see something called quick launch. Just check it. I'm on I'm on Windows 7, so I don't see that. It's slightly different. All right, and then instead of unpinning from the taskbar or yeah from the taskbar in Windows 7 if you're in Windows Vista quick launch just right click it and click delete so that's all I wanted to share with you on this first video this is just part one of week one and so uh, I hope you join and I will talk to you later thanks bye